What's up everyone, Chris here. Today we are checking out the brand new 2022 Hightower. This one here is in the R spec, so the entry level, but with the carbon frame. Seems like Santa Cruz is doing a lot of carbon this year and might not be doing aluminum, but let's jump into this and find out what's changed or what's not. So with this being the R spec, it is coming stock with the SRAM NX 1x12. All right, so with this being an NX per spec to it, the downside to it being it's only the 50 tooth chainring at the top. So you still got the 12 speed, it's still fantastic. And I don't know if it really is a downgrade. When you go to the new GX systems, you're getting that 52 tooth unit. It gives you a super low gear. Honestly, I haven't found a full use for it. It's really low. So this isn't really a downgrade, but technically it is a downgrade, if you know what I mean. The NX stuff is shifting pretty reliably. It's a little slow, but it's actually really reliable. It goes on par. It's only a little bit heavier than the GX stuff, but you don't need to worry about that too much with the carbon frame paired up with it. You still get an overall lightweight full suspension bike. This one here has the Fox Flow uh, rear shock in it, and then it's paired with the Yari up front. So this is a 150, 140 mil travel with 29 inch wheels which makes a super fast rolling frame, but a bit slacker than what the 5010s would be, closer to where a Bronson would be. So it's really gonna roll over that kind of aggressive terrain and downhill a lot faster. This is kind of the everyday trail bike, enduro bike. Let's check out some more features. A couple cool things they have done is they've carried through that SDG drop pose, which I like a lot. It is a simple cable actuated drop pose, but it works really well. It's got some good power behind it. It's fast responding and it's been reliable for us. We've just got the volume spaces for that front fork up front. So it is customizable. You've got that air shock plus the volume spaces. You can make this really trail worthy by filling up that volume, making it a little faster, a little more reactive. But when it comes to the big hits, you'll still be able to take it with that huge suspension gun on the front. Um, obviously the compression is adjustable and it is minor tunable so each little click clicks into place so you're not bound by kind of a middle click and an open and wide it is kind of tunable on the go which is kind of nice especially with this style of bike you just never know where you're going to be or what terrain you're going to be in um, because it can go so many places the grips on this as well are these standard santa cruz lock-on single-sided which work really well. I don't really get any of the double-sided stuff, but honestly, really nice quality, great feel to it. Um, it works really well, like their grips, they're really nice. Uh, braking is the SRAM G2 series stuff, so four piston, a little bit heavier, so that's that kind of newer guide stuff. It's in that kind of same family. Good feel to it. Um, I think that with that G2 stuff, it feels a little more like the Shimano XT stuff, where it's a little more on and off. There's, less kind of soft modu modu modulation through it, um, which is a super technical term to me, but it is a really accurate term for describing how brakes feel. Overall, super clean looking bike. They haven't changed the frame this year. They did that a couple of years back. Um, it's not got any major redesigns to it. The Maxxis Minions on it, again, seemingly the go-to tire for absolutely everyone and every single tire right now. Still has that BPP suspension with the ability to flip that little chip, which makes a huge difference, especially on a bike like this. You're dropping it a couple mils and then changing the head tube angle even slacker, and it makes such a difference in the riding style. If you're doing some big mountain stuff, flip that chip at the top of the hill and you will notice the difference. It's gonna be so much more uh, forgiving over the hills, over the bumps, everything is so much more forgiving. But on the climbs, it does make it a little longer and it does make it a little wider turning, not as technical, twitchy feeling. And that's the benefit of it. You can switch it at any point. It literally takes like five minutes. It's just a little Allen key and adjust it and it's good to go. The high tower is definitely for anyone who essentially wants a bike to do everything and anything and they know they're gonna hit some gnarly stuff. Comparing this to the 5010, you are able to go absolutely anywhere with this without question. The 5010, you are limited a little bit with those 27 and a half and the smaller amount of travel and steeper head tube size. It 
just won't handle the aggressive downhill big stuff as well, but it's gonna be a nice playful bike. Whereas this is gonna be a little longer on the trail, so maybe not as manageable to throw around, but still super fast and any downhill and rough stuff, this is just gonna chew up and spit out. It's not even gonna pause. It is a great little addition to it. It fills the whole Santa Cruz family. The Bronson, which is coming in, is gonna be super sick, and I am really into the 27.5 on the rear and the 29 on the front. I haven't actually rode it yet, but that will hopefully be coming. The Hightower is a really good go-to bike when you know you're gonna be doing some big stuff, but you also want a little cushioning to it, and yet you still want a fast trail-worthy bike. I mean, if you put something a little faster on here for tires, something not as knobbly, this is still gonna be a fast little cross-country bike little heavier just because of the suspension size but it's actually gonna be a really good option for no matter what you're doing you'll be able to make this bike work really well and those 29s unfortunately are taking over and um, they are the fastest wheel size everyone's bringing this back end in making the chain stay shorter and um, getting this design in really tight so it makes it a nice agile bike as opposed to it being a super long bike anyway guys that's all we're doing with this video um, hopefully it helps some people out at least it gives you a little look this is the mineral color let's get um, a like and a subscribe to everyone down here because that might help otherwise uh, my name is Chris and uh, good luck